Thank you for this important debate as we look ahead to the upcoming COP27 in Sham El Sheikh. I will take this debate on behalf of Vice President Timmermans. The COP27 conclusions of the EU Council of Ministers planned for the 24th of October will reconfirm the EU's commitments towards the Glasgow Climate Pact and to keeping the 1.5 degree goal within reach. We have enshrined our commitments into the EU climate law and are pursuing their implementation. The EU is ready to demonstrate how we are staying the course in Sham. We have been reassuring our partners that the EU's energy security will not be achieved to the determinant of climate action. With our Fit for 55 and Repower EU, we are fully committed towards delivery and implementation of our NDC and to climate neutrality by 2050. This is a continuous sign of the EU's leadership in addressing the climate crisis. COP27, as every COP, is also a moment for accountability on climate mitigation. The world needs more and fast, fast transition, not less. For food security, energy security, climate security, geopolitical security. Sham el Sheikh must reaffirm the demand for the implementation of nationally determined contributions and long-term strategies, as well as for the parties to revisit the targets in their NDCs to accelerate global efforts to maintain the 1.5 degree goal within reach. The COP must also adapt to mitigation work program to cut emissions in this critical decade to implement what we agreed in Glasgow on phasing out fossil fuel subsidies, phasing down coal, reducing methane emission and aligning our NDCs with the 1.5 degree goal. The EU and its 27 member states are the largest contributor to the international public uh, climate finance, contributing over 23.5 billion euro in 2020. We have contributed our fair share to the collective 100 billion dollars by 2020 goal and will continue to do so. But we also recognize that further work is needed from now until 2025 to fulfill the commitments made by developed countries. It is therefore important that other developed countries continue to increase their contributions and deliver on their commitments. But public finance alone cannot deliver the trillions of dollars of investment required annually for climate finance. While it plays an important role in support for adapt adapt adaptation and support for the most vulnerable countries and communities, the scale of investments needs, needed requires action by all countries to mobilize private investment and shift finance flows towards the low emission climate resilient development. That means especially stronger engagement of the private sector. To do so, we need to align all financial flows with the Paris Agreement long-term goals. The smartest and the most efficient thing we can do is to put a price to carbon and stop, stop subsidizing it. Avoiding and reducing emissions while increasing our resilience to climate change needs to be mainstreamed into every investment decision domestically and globally as well as into national budgets and the development finance system. In recent years, the EU and its member states have launched policy initiatives to make finance flows consistent with low GHG emissions and climate resilient development. Cooperation is the key lever and it can ensure peer learning. Developing countries should be supported in implementing initiative specifically aimed at making finance consistent with climate objectives. On climate adaptation, we see three building blocks for an outcome in Sham El Sheikh. Encouraging the development of more national adaptation plans in developing countries. These plans are the foundational tools to inform action at national level and are catalysts for increasing ambition and attracting finance.
Second, informing the global stock take in 2023 in reviewing overall progress made on adaptation through general recommendations on insights acquired uh, this far. And third, identifying key issues and the interlinkage interlinkages with other environmental agreements, such as the Biodiversity Convention and the Sandai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. Honourable Members, with our domestic experience in implementing the EU Green Deal and external policy instruments and dialogues, we are in a position to help our partners to advance their transition to a low-carbon, climate-resilient economy. We cement that position and offer our joint strong support to the Egyptian COP27 presidency for a successful outcome in Sham. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Tagad vārds Eiropas Tautas partijas vārdā Pēter Līzes kungam pusotrē minūtē.